Hi guys, my name is Louis, the owner of OVC Pinoy, a website that tries some powerful Pinot businesses around the world. So let's look today at a very interesting video, why there are so many Filipino nurses in the USA. Immigrants, we get the job done, or so the song goes. So we all know that when it comes to labor, the United States loves immigrants. And one of the most unique stories... Is that still true today with Trump? I'm not so certain. They want to give a lot of the American jobs back to Americans. Well, let's see how the video evolves. Stories of American immigration and labor actually comes from the Philippines. In particular, it's the story of Filipino women who became nurses throughout the country's hospitals. Hey guys, I'm Sana. This is AJ Plus. Hello, and this Sana. Sunday, I want to talk a bit about why there are so many Filipino nurses in the United States and what that says about the history of Filipino Americans and Filipino labor. Really interested. I know there's a lot of Filipino nurses out there, especially in the US and in Australia. I know there were special de deals being done between countries to bring them over to the US or Australia. But let's continue watching this video. Okay, so you might be saying, um, Sana, the US has a lot of Filipino nurses? Yep. Here's what's up. Yep. Back in 2015, yes. foreign born Filipinos made up the fourth largest group of immigrants in the country. And the majority. So, the fourth largest group, that is crazy. I knew about Mexicans and Chinese people, but the Philippines being the fourth biggest. Crazy. The majority of Filipinos are in California where they make up 20% of the nursing force, which is impressive when you consider that they only make up about 4% of the state's population. Now, it's Crazy. easy to think of the Philippines as all the way over there and the United States right over here. But Dr. Catherine Sneeza Choi, who wrote the book Empire of Care, says that imagining Filipinos as simply foreigners actually erases a history between the countries. Filipinos and specifically certain groups of Filipino immigrant workers, like immigrant nurses, are not foreigners in the way we tend to think about foreigners. They actually have historical interaction with Americans. And that interaction begins... Yeah, that's very true. We are never allowed to forget that the U.S. was in the Philippines and that we have a history together. But also, a lot of what we do in the Philippines right now is very U.S. based and uh, we are very inspired by U.S. culture. It's like so many other immigrant interactions with colonization. The Spanish True. colonized and ruled the archipelago we now call the Republic of the Philippines for a few centuries. In 1898, the Americans and the Spanish went to war, and it ended with the signing of the Treaty of Paris. As a result, the Americans got very a lot of territories from the Spanish, very, one very of which was the Philippines. But the people of the islands didn't welcome the Americans. They wanted their independence, not more colonizers. That resistance led to the three-year-long Philippines-American War from 1899 to 1902, and it was fought between U.S. forces and Filipino nationalists. And it was a brutal war for Filipinos. It killed 20,000 combatants and 200,000 civilians. So many deaths, it's crazy. We're now a little bit in the harder times, but that is even incomparable to what is here. Uh, 200,000 civilians, I'm, I'm really shocked right now. As a result of the violence, diseases like cholera and malaria, and even famine. When the war ended, the Philippines came under the colonial control of the United States. And that's when the story of the Philippines So many deaths. Begins. Like Crazy. in its other colonies, the United States began the Americanization of the islands after setting up a government in the Philippines. You also had American colonial officials going to the Philippines and exposing Filipinos to American culture, to the English language, to Americanized education. And this kind of training influenced so many different groups of Filipinos to dream about the U.S and to desire to migrate there. American health... And I think not only do, did Filipinos want to migrate to the Philippines, but it influenced a lot of how the Philippines act still today. And it is a very interesting to see how much Americans have brought to the Philippines and how desirable they made the American dream. 
workers in the Philippines needed locals to deal with the health issues of Filipinos because the malaria and cholera had killed so many during the war. But they didn't find any nurses trained the way the Americans had been trained. And so they began recruiting Filipino women to work as what were called volunteer auxiliary and contract nurses. Around Very the same interesting. Time, in Very interesting. President William Taft passed a law that allowed and funded certain Filipino students to study in American colleges. And this led to the first... I didn't know that this early on, so many Filipinos traveled already to the States. Really interesting. ...wave of Filipino nurses coming to the United States, and it also led to a lot of the nurses staying. They even established their presence with organizations like the Philippine Nurses oh, Association of New York. And the waves of Filipino nurse migration continued throughout the 20th century, especially as the United States opened up its borders a bit more. During World War II, more Filipino nurses were trained to serve in the U.S. military. And during the same time, the Philippines came under Japanese occupation. After the war ended, the United States granted the territory independence in 1946. And two years Later, very, very the State interesting Department video. Introduced the exchange visitor program, a little something created to push back against Soviet influence. You know, True. bring more people into the United States and show them what the capitalist good life is actually all about. Be so true already what I said before, we're very influenced by what America has done. It is very interesting to see that we have been in two waves going to the Philippines one time before World War II, then during World War II, and I'm certain we will talk soon about a third wave after World War II. I'm not sure how much we still import Filipinos into the US, but I think it is a very interesting relationship that has historical grounds that I didn't know before. Uh, very, very interesting. Because of the decades-long colonial relationship and education in English language, the Philippines became a model country for the program, and the nurses led the way. The program was so successful that it actually encouraged more Filipinos to go into nursing. The number of nurses in the Philippines jumped over 700%, Crazy. from 7,000 in 1948 to over 57,000 <laughs> in 1953. The program also encouraged the building of more nursing schools in the Philippines. Back in 1940, there were only 10, and today, 429. It is still very popular in the Philippines to become a nurse. Uh, I'm sure if you're Filipino, you have a nurse in your family or somebody who wants to become a nurse. And this is due to this whole hype from the Americans. That program, in addition to the 1965 Immigration Act, opened up the borders even more for educated Filipinos. And so by Great. 1973, we end up seeing over 12,000 Filipino nurses immigrate to the 12, United States. 000. But I gotta mention this, it wasn't just because of American immigration policies that so many Filipinos were migrating to the U.S. In the 1970s, with President Ferdinand Marcos, who ruled under martial law, a policy of labor export was introduced. The whole idea behind the export of labor was that Filipinos would travel abroad on war contracts make money, send it back home, yeah. and thus help a struggling economy. That is, something that, is, created... that is something that is so very popular today, that Filipinos leave their country and take care of their family in that way, sending money back home. Which I agree and disagree with. I would really like to see more businesses being created in the Philippines and create a sustainable economy in the Philippines. I see that we're going towards that, but I think we could push that even more an agency that directly provided migrant labor to foreign governments and companies. That policy pretty much made the Philippines one of the top exporters of labor. I mean, check this, about 10% of all Filipinos are foreign workers. That's around 10%. 10 million people in around 170 different countries. So there will be 10 million people who are overseas Pinoys, OFWs, uh, that is amazing, 10 million people. And not everybody has become a nurse, there's a lot of business owners in there, restaurant owners. And that is what we're all about again, uh, some self-promotion here. We have a website that was created to empower Filipino businesses around the world where we have an interactive map to help you find Filipino-owned businesses. So I hope you check that out. The link will be down in the bio or description. Countries. And did the policy of exporting labor actually work for the economy? Well, for decades, the Philippines has been one of the top five recipients of money transfers from migrant labor. Yeah. Shout out to Western Union. Not sponsored. Take for instance how in 2015 over 3 million Filipinos left the country to work abroad. They spent back million. 28.5 billion dollars which made up about a tenth of the Philippines total GDP. So exported labor is a big deal for the Philippines and it really does get to the heart of the Filipino immigrant experience whether in a country like Saudi Arabia or in the United States. Yeah. And it's equally important to note that despite the so-called success of the export of Filipino labor it's come with a lot of sacrifice, struggle and vulnerability. 
Take for example Filipino nurses here in the United States who are professionals but still face discrimination. The vulnerability so of being immigrant nurses can also be connected to being exploited by being assigned sometimes the most undesirable kinds of work on the nursing floor or being... So a lot of Filipino nurses are being discriminated and I'm really sad to hear that especially in this time now where everybody's working towards a better world and uh, everybody's helping each other and I hope this moment we will realize how important nurses are and that they really help us and uh, guys if there's anybody in your family who is a nurse just give them at this moment a word of encouragement they're wor working towards a better world and uh, they're helping us daily uh, just to become uh, better and guys uh, again just go out and show some love to a nurse out there assigned on the most undesirable shift unfortunately they are not the kinds of challenges we often think about in the united states that these women would have because they are professional immigrant workers but even though exported or imported labor is central to Filipino migration, especially to the United States, that's not the only part of the Filipino immigrant experience. In the United States, Filipinos, both citizens and immigrants, have used their experiences to fight for workers' rights. In fact, one oh, of the biggest great. labor movements in the United States was sparked by Filipino laborers. In 1965, Filipino grain wow. farm workers in Delano, California, went on strike against poor working conditions and low wages. Farm workers across the country joined in on the strike which eventually led to an international boycott of very grapes. interesting the five-year strike Go ended Filipinos. with a major win for the farm workers they got union contracts that protected them so filipinos immigrants and citizens have been and very remain a central part of the u.s's social very, fabric very they've not only provided labor and in industries that needed it the most but at times have also protected it so we just covered Filipino nurses in the United States, and we've also talked in the past about Indian Americans in the motel industry. What are some other communities, immigrant communities? So this was a very interesting video we watched together about the Filipino nurses in the U.S. It is something I have learned a lot right now. I didn't know about this early moves towards an America's Americanized Philippines, but also not that they encouraged Filipinos to come to the U.S., and learn about uh, nursing and schooling and English. Uh, we have been harmed by America. Yes, absolutely. So many deaths uh, are because of them. But in some way, we can also thank them of how educated and how well English spoken we are. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoy what I create. Uh, go out there and thank a nurse for their service. Uh, it is really great what they're doing all right now. And like and comment this uh, video. I really appreciate it.